No sign of Darth Angrel, but Euphrates. I saw this planet once, with Master Kawix. It used to be green. General, I've arrived at Euphrates. There's no sign of Angrel, but the planet... See for yourself. Receiving your sensor readings. Stand by. Euphrates atmosphere looks like it's on fire. What could have done that? Damage consistent with designs recovered on Ord Mantel. The Desolator weapon. Angrel's taken the planet prison and turned it into something horrific. The Desolator borrows technology from all our advanced warfare projects. Angrel's son was quite the genius. Euphrates had millions of citizens. Whole continents of farmlands. All that life extinguished. The scale of this is... it's unthinkable. Getting an emergency transmission. It's faint, coming from the far side of the planet. Republic vessel, do you copy? This is medical frigate Daybreaker. We're under attack. Imperial commandos have boarded us. Help! It's one of ours. The crew may know what happened here. No more of our people died today. Kira, plot an intercept course. Already done, Master. Strap yourselves in.
That was the last of the Imperials. You're safe now. Not a minute too soon. Those commandos weren't taking prisoners. I still can't believe what happened to Euphrates. When we arrived, an Imperial ship was attacking the planet. I've never seen anything like it. Euphrates was trapped inside an energy field. Some starships tried to flee, but their engines failed before they could leave the atmosphere. No one escaped. Every ship that tried crashed back onto the surface. How did your ship come under attack? We tried to run, but Imperial boarding pods overtook us. I saw Euphrates' atmosphere catch fire. Horrific destruction. Flames consumed the planet. Everything turned to smoke and ash in seconds. Could anyone have escaped the destruction? I don't see how. Captain, look at this. Our sensors detect faint life readings on the planet's surface. Possible survivors. Anyone left on that planet is as good as dead. If we go down there, we can provide food, water, shelter, and medicine. It's our duty. The energy field surrounding Euphrates will destroy your ship's engines. You won't be able to leave. You could hold out a long time in this ship. Long enough for the Republic to make Euphrates safe again. We're the only hope those people have. Every second counts. Please, he'll listen to you. Talk to him. It's not that I don't want to help, but I have a family to think about. This ship carries combat-grade Colto packs, battle adrenals, you name it. Talk her out of this crazy idea. You'll have your pick of our supplies. I've pinpointed the strongest life signs. We can land immediately. Render aid to anyone you find. I promise you won't be abandoned down there. This is insane. I'm taking an escape pod off this lunatic asylum. My crew can do this without him. Thank you for doing what's right. I'm transmitting our sensor logs of the attack to your ship. Please give them to the Republic High Command. You better go. People on Euphrates need us. Flawless condition, naturally. I rescued the Daybreaker, General. I have sensor logs of Engril's attack. However, the crew landed on Euphrates to help possible survivors. They're trapped. We'll get them back somehow. But Angrel is our first priority. Transmitting sensor logs now. My initial analysis indicates the Desolator has a similar flaw to the planet prison. The weapon's excessive power requirements demand a lengthy charging period before it can fire. Small consolation. Angrel's next attack will undoubtedly be more direct. If he uses it on one of the core worlds, it will be catastrophic. An understatement. He could murder trillions. I'll contact the Galactic Senate and put every Republic world on... Wait. We're getting another emergency alert from Tython. Relaying it now. Under attack by Darth Angrel. Launching defense fighters. Angrel's battlecruiser deploying energy weapon. Our ship can't escape Python's atmosphere. We're trapped. That explains why Angrel left Euphrates so quickly. He's already chosen his next target. Send everything you've got to Tython. Now, General. The Republic fleet's in hyperspace. By the time it's redirected to Typhon, it'll be too late. The Desolator needs time to work. The Jedi may be trapped on Typhon, but you're not. You could board Angrel's battlecruiser. Disable the weapon before it fires. I'll disable that weapon, and Darth Angrel will answer for his crimes. I'll use the sensor logs to find the Desolator's weak point. Contact us when you're aboard Angrel's warship. May the Force be with you. General, we got a little scorched, but we're inside Angrel's battlecruiser. Yes, 
I knew you could do it. Now to end that Sith for good. Won't be that simple. The sensor logs of Angwell's warship reveal he's amplified the vessel's reactors. That's a little trick he learned from me when I was interrogated by his spy on Taras. Blast his truth serums and mind probes. Disarming the desolator weapon will necessitate overloading at least three shielded reactor relays. No simple task. General? Doctor? My team's moving out. We'll save Tython or die trying. Don't even think that. I expect us all to reach a ripe old age. Your signal's breaking up. May the... Ingrid's jamming our transmissions. He's coming for us. I'll do all that I can. will not steal my victory. Not now. I've sacrificed too much for this. I will avenge my son on you and all the Jedi. The only vengeance here will be mine. Prepare to die. I foresaw this confrontation. I welcome it. Today I forge a new era for the Sith. One where the Jedi are finally extinct. Finish this, Angrel. I command it. With pleasure, my master. What... what was that? I felt... the Emperor... You are his child. His eyes, his ears. His weapon to command. Come, child. Fight by my side. It's where you belong. I'd rather jump out an airlock naked. Fight the Emperor's control. Remember who you are. I feel him in my thoughts. We have to end this fast. If you will not serve, you will die. For Tarnis. Done. dead, and this battle cruiser's not far behind him. Disappointing. Angrel was useful. This child must learn her place. And so will you. 
Leave Kira alone. If you want to fight, face me in person. That is unnecessary. I see futures in you. Futures I will not allow. Your future ends here. This child is unfinished, weak. I will make her strong. Now you will die. Even if my child must die with you. No, I won't kill for you. You're stronger than the dark side. Push it back. I'll help you. You already did. The dark side has no power over me. I am a Jedi. He's gone. I won. I'm finally free. Your life is your own, Kira. And I have you to thank, Master. The ship's coming down on top of us. Let's get out of here. Master, you'll be pleased to know I added extra padding to all the seat cushions. Thank the Force you're alive. When I saw Angle's battlecruiser explode, I feared the worst. Good to see you, Master Satil. Everyone safe down there? We are now, thanks to you. Please come to the surface. Bring your Padawan to the Council Chambers. We all have much to discuss. Welcome home. The Jedi owe you a debt of gratitude we can never repay. The Jedi wore Republic medals. Your robe would be covered in them. Only wish Master Orgus could share in this victory. You're looking well, Master Quix. Better with each passing day, thanks to you. We've lost one of our noblest masters. But in his place stands a Jedi without equal. And you, Padawan. I knew you'd remain true to us. I see no reason why we shouldn't make Kira a full-fledged Jedi Knight. I agree. My troubled former Padawan has matured into a fine Jedi. As leader of this council, it's my pleasure to promote Kira Carson to the rank of Jedi Knight. You mean it? It seems only fair. You did help save the galaxy. So, this is what it feels like, being respectable. The danger to Tython is over, but we're getting fresh reports of hostilities all over the galaxy. Another war with the Empire seems inevitable. Darth Angrel was the spark that lit the flame. Even in failure, he inspired the Sith to violence. But he also forged our greatest weapon against the darkness. The Force has shown me what lies ahead. The futures of many rest on your actions. You will decide the fate of the Jedi. The Republic, the galaxy. I'll defend the Republic to my dying breath. May the Force be with you. With all of us. <laughs> the Force is with you. Now and always. Master Orgus? His power is growing. Only you can stop him. You must go to Tatooine. I've learned better than to argue with the voices of the dead. A starship crashed in a desert canyon. Use the Force. Find it. Who were you talking to? The holocom's not even on. This is crazy, but Master Orgus was standing right there. He spoke to me. He's not alive like that, T7. Master Quix once told me powerful Jedi can live on through the Force after they die. 
Not a social call, then. What did Master Orgus say to you? There's a crashed starship in a canyon on Tatooine. I can almost see it in my head. Then hold that thought. Next stop, Tatooine. I know your face. The one who defeated Darth Angrel, the hero of Tython. That's a uh, heroes of Tython. I fought Darth Angrel too. My mission was a secret. No one knew where I was. How did you find me? The spirit of my dead master, Orgus Din, sent me here. He said you needed help. Thank the Force, and your master. I thought I was dead. Under the circumstances, I think we had better contact my superiors. It almost repaired my hollow before the Sith ambushed me. Jomar! Where are you? Masters, I completed my mission, but Sith assassins shot down my vessel over Tatooine. The spirit of Master Orgus Din sent my rescuer. I believe you know her. The Force wants our mission to succeed, Master Satia. This is proof. I knew she was the nexus of our fates, but events are transpiring faster than I foresaw. We never get a break, but you can always count on me. Jomar, the medical shuttle is en route. Before it arrives, give your rescue at the sensor logs you recorded. Bring us those logs immediately. We'll explain everything when you're on Typhon. This burden is now yours. Guard it with your life. Go. Hurry. What's so important about these sensor logs? I've seen the Empire's home system. Those logs reveal our enemy's defenses. We'll meet again on Tython. May the Force be with you.
I brought the sensor logs, Master Satil. I'm sure you have many questions. Master Tolbraga will answer them. It's good to finally meet you in person. They say you're the greatest Jedi the Order has seen in generations. I believe the Force has guided you to me. Together, we'll defeat the Empire. Restoring peace to the galaxy is the reason I became a Jedi. I'm organizing a top-secret strike team of our best and brightest. Jedi who don't know the meaning of failure. Twice, you've saved the Jedi Order from destruction. Bengal Moore and Darth Angle were formidable opponents. Now I ask you to confront the ultimate evil and help me capture the Sith Emperor. You don't dream small, do you, Master? There's an ancient fortress orbiting the Imperial homeworld, Droman Kaas. It's hidden by a powerful cloaking device. The Emperor rules his people from this cloaked fortress. Not even the highest ranking Sith can find him. But we're going to locate that fortress, get inside it, and seize the Emperor. If there's a way to achieve these goals, we must find it. We've already made great strides toward our objective. The man you saved on Tatooine scouted the Drummond Cast system. His sensor logs will help us plan this assault. We'll plot a hyperspace route through the Imperial Navy's defenses. Slip right past them. Other members of my strike team are uncovering ways to pierce the cloaking device and defeat the security around the Emperor's fortress. I could use your expertise on Almora. The Empire and Republic are at war there and the fighting has endangered our mission. My ship's ready for departure. Tell your people I'm on my way. We've placed great responsibility on you, but I know you won't fail us. Contact your fellow strike team member Warren Sedoro when you reach Balmora. He'll explain the mission. We're going to save the galaxy. May the Force be with us.